What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I really hope you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, either if it's the morning, afternoon or even night. Well, it's about to get better because this car is just a disaster as it has been neglected uh, since the day they actually got it which has been about three four months without touching any water or anything as they said and this is a 2009 lexus es 350 which i i just said we're going to be working on the exterior and on the interior and just completely transform this car because you guys are going to see how bad this is and how great it's gonna end up looking I already know so uh, I'm really excited to start this video so without any further ado let's get detailing Alright guys, welcome back to another voiceover and as you guys can see this car is filthy and here as always I'm starting on the wheels and tires and here I only sprayed the iron remover and the pre uh, the pre rinse that I always do but as you guys can see that just took off a lot and took off a lot of work for me as well and as you guys saw that water was just filthy so that's one of the first steps that I do on every single wheel and it pretty much does all the tough work for you. You only have to do the rest and which makes it a lot easier. Now, as you guys can see, another really helpful thing is to have the proper and a few different tools or brushes to uh, use on every single different little thing on the tire, wheel, and wheel wells. As you guys can see, I have a soft, hard, small brush and a long, soft brush for the wheel wells. And it's just really important because you're attacking different points, uh, you know, like the tires. It's a hard brush so you can get all that dirt off or whatever it's on the tire and for the wheels you don't want to scratch them or damage them so you have to use a soft one and of course for the lug nuts you have to use the small one detailing brush so you can get really in depth into those and then of course as you guys can see here they long a soft brush for the wheel wheels and of course after every single uh, use i really uh, like to encourage you to clean this after every single little use because you don't want to start cleaning another tire with these filthy brushes Now I'm doing everything here as usual on the parents, but I wanted to show you this little thing that I like to do and you know some of you guys may know this or not it's just a little trick that I love and it just makes your life a lot easier when cleaning these uh, door jams. So I spray all the door jams with the pressure washer and try to take as much of the whatever it is it's you know sometimes there's mud sometimes there's just really dirty grease whatever it is it's a lot easier just to take it with the uh, pressure washer and I mean try I always try not to uh, get any water into the car but sometimes you're gonna you know the overspray sometimes is gonna get into the car but not to worry because we're also doing an interior detail here so everything's gonna get clean at the end but it just really helps a lot when you're cleaning these door jams
Alrighty now after that whole entire music video, it's now time to rinse it off. I had to get a little help from my boy CJ and uh, just to make this work a lot easier for me. As you guys can see it was getting sunny so I had to get out of the sun and move in to work on the interior. All right, and after leaving the all right, and after cleaning and leaving all the exterior shiny, it's now time to show you something that I wanted to uh, show you guys right when I got this car. And this car had a huge uh, hits, and they had more paint more than the hit, so it was really easy to take off. And you know, most of the times, people think that when they get hit or you know they have an accident, little accidents like this one, that you have to take it to or shop or spend a lot of money just to get rid of it and as you guys can see this is really easy to take off and really easy to do and not spend a lot of money as you guys can see i used goof off and there's a lot of products that you can use to remove these paint stickers whatever you have on a car it's really easy as you guys use spray it once and if you need a little bit more just spray it again and as you guys can see what i used it was a microfiber towel and the uh, chemical so it's really easy, cheap, and fast. Alrighty now as you guys can already tell I took out the seats because it just needed to be cleaned the way it deserves and uh, the customer did take a lot of the trash out and but everything that was left or you guys everything that you see here is the the trash that it was under the seats and that's just how much of a difference it makes just to take out the seats so you can work more comfortable easier and faster so yeah you guys are about to see a little difference when I pick up the trash and when I vacuum so it's just really a you know day and night difference so I'll leave you guys with this
all right now after vacuuming the entire car and in my opinion is the one step that takes most of the time of the entire detail um, i decided to do the uh, floor mats after that so they could be dry and ready whenever i finish this detail and this time i opted to use a pressure washer because it's a little faster and it gets the job done and it gets it right so you could also use your extractor but you sometimes have to work smarter and not harder and still get the same results All right now, and one of the things that I also forgot to mention is that these are only the first passes that I recorded because they're the most sturdy ones, but you need to do as much uh, passes as you need uh, for them to be clean. I usually, or most of the times I do two passes, or at tops three, but these uh, using the pressure washer is a lot faster, like I said, but yeah, you shouldn't take more than three passes to get these formats clean. Alrighty now, for all of you guys wondering what I'm using to clean these leather seats, I am using Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner with a little help of this amazing little brush from Colorlog and of course my microfiber towel to pick up that dirty residue and leave these seats ready to get treated and conditioned.
already now, just as you guys can see, just from these first pass, you were able to see how it just went from that grayish, dirty looking color to that black matte that you're supposed to have on the car. And that's not even with the UV protectant. And I know it's just gonna look amazing when I do that step. Alright, and as you guys watch me clean this interior, don't forget to comment down below any of your questions on what materials I'm using, the chemicals, or just any questions you guys have. And also, if you guys are enjoying this video, please don't forget to big it a huge thumbs up.
Alrighty now, all I have to say is thank you guys if you made it till this point of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll leave you with these before and after shots. And again, thank you guys very much for watching all these videos and I'll see you guys on the next one. What's up everyone, welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the ES350 that is just been neglected neglected since uh now it is or it's looking now.